Good afternoon. This is Coach Tyra Wood with the Mind Reset Coach. Coming to you with a quick over-the-shoulder tutorial today for the Ask Coach Tara, episode 27, I believe. This is how to get your animated MLSP banners onto your WordPress blog. Now, I'm going to be demonstrating using my Kalatu blog. However, it's a WordPress dashboard, so if you're not using Kalatu, this should work for your WordPress as well. Um, Blogspot, I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to go over there and bother with it right now. So I just wanted to make sure what, what happened was is I go around and, you know, and I comment on people's blogs and I've been clicking through banners because it's important that when you syndicate for people that you do a lot of clicking through for them, you know, because it, it helps their ranking. Um, and a lot of these banners weren't going to where the banner said. And I know it's a really common mistake, so I figured I'd solve it for you today. It's super easy fix too. So let me go ahead and squish my face. We're looking at Screencast-O-Matic right now. Okay, so let's go ahead into, you log into your back office, that's your MLSP. Um, see if I can move my face up a little bit. I like my face there. Is that good? And what you're going to do is you go to, do, 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 sample ads and resources, right? You're going to open that window. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to get ready to open this one. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on banners on the right hand side. And then here you go. You're going to have banner designs that are going to flash and be awesome on your, your blog. Um, yesterday I was on a hangout with Yelena and um, she said the uglier the better. And you know what? These are really ugly banners. I mean, they, they get your attention. They're, they're not pretty. You know, I usually have mine like all color coordinated and stuff. Well, I'm going to, I'm going for ugly banners this time. Because I have a lot to offer, and I want people to, to grab these offers, right? So say you, you pick this one, the Facebook one, um, the 5K in 30 days, Facebook Advertising Mastery, um, MLSP University, you know, whichever one you want. You want to go ahead and select the image. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick one I don't have up yet. Um... Let's do the Twitter one, right? So I'm going to select Twitter. You're going to go like that. And it's going to open up here. What you're going to have here, I want you to pay attention to this. You see these? This? That's how you select the size banner you want. Okay? I love these sizes. They look best on my blog. And so that's the one I'm going to pick, right? I'm going to go ahead and put a tracking code. I'm going to put blog. So I don't have to worry about tracking it myself. I'm going to select the size I want, large box, and I'm going to generate the HTML. I'm going to come over to my dashboard, and I'm going to go to widgets. And here, what I'm going to select is one is the text widget. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in. I'll throw that in up here where it's easy to find. And this is going to open up a dialog box. Let me move myself over here. I hope that moves. I hope I move for you on the video. And I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to grab this code. Copy it. Right? I'm going to go back to the widget box. I'm going to paste the code. We're not done. You go over to sample ads and resources. This is the Twitter. So that's the social media automation in your systems campaigns. Open like a new tab. Go ahead and move myself over there. Social media automation. I'm going to grab my link. Copy. Now I don't have to worry about putting a code in there because I have a code already inside the HTML code. And this first, right here between the parentheses and the question mark, is where you're going to place. The link that you just got from the social media automation. So you want to be sure that your ads here, like the Insta Biz Builder, Audience Builder Pro, Sound Traffic Mojo, Master Sponsoring Secrets, any of these ads that you can place on your banner, go to the corresponding campaign. Some of them will be product campaigns. Some of them will be profit campaigns, 
most of them will be system campaigns. Then, of course, your MLSP campaigns, if you're going to use um, just for a straight up MLSP, you know, advertisement on the side of your blog. So now let's go ahead and look at it. It's good over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save. Well, hopefully, sometimes it takes a minute for your blog to see it. So what I'll do is I'll open up our visit site. Put myself over this way somewhere. Turn that on. There's a lot of you guys, whether you're in Power Network or MLSP, super awesome. You're all at events this weekend. I'm very sad that I'm not. Well, it's it's not refreshing yet, so well, maybe. But you'll be able to see. Now, this is the Facebook one I already had there, right? Um, in a couple of minutes, this will actually have a Twitter one there that we just installed. But let me click and show you what happens. When I click on it, it goes to the Facebook marketing tab. This is to the Instagram tab. Right? The YouTube tab. Okay, you want them to go to landing pages that correspond with what the advertisement that you are placing on your blog says the advertisement's taking them to. If you accidentally, let me show you back here inside of this. If you accidentally, I'm going to go ahead and toggle instructions here. Check this out. If you leave this in inside that code, it's going to go to that particular landing page, which is your chosen campaign that you've already created for MLSP, like your set campaign. Um, that's not going to bring people that want to learn about Instagram to the Instagram training. It's going to bring them to the MLSP overview. So that's not, you don't want people to not get what they're looking for. If they're clicking on an Instagram banner, that's because they want to learn about Instagram. Not saying that they couldn't learn about Instagram within the MLSP system. Absolutely. Absolutely. But that's not necessarily what they were thinking when they clicked on the banner. So you want to be sure you're super congruent with that. So let me go ahead and demonstrate what the, like, say, for instance, the Instagram. Where is it? Right here. What happens when you don't change that link? Okay, I'm just going to leave this all the same. I'm going to generate the HTML code. You see here it says... SevenFigureMastermindTeam.com, Tara Woodruff. That has to be replaced with the Insta, InstaBiz Builder free system lead magnet inside of your back office. Because if it's not, it's not going to work. So let me see here if I can. I'm going to close that. I'm going to refresh this, see if it shows up. It, it's Sometimes it takes, on my, on my blog, it takes sometimes... Anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. So that's all good. I'm not worried about it. I know it'll be there when it's supposed to be there. And that's all. But see, each one of these goes to the specific things that I'm advertising on the banner. So you want to make sure of that. That's all I got to say. I want to tell you thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions about that, it's super easy. Yes, you're going to have to have multiple tabs open. Most of our internet marketing, all that little technical stuff, requires multiple tabs. So no, it'll be difficult to do this onto your blog um, from a, something that doesn't let you have tabs open or, or ease of tabs open. So some things let you have tabs open, but it's like it's hard to even go back to it. I want to also point out, I want you to remember this. If you, if you need to write this down, write it down. Remember to select your size. Remember to track where you're putting it. Because maybe you're going to buy some ad space on someone's blog, right? You know, so track, size, so make sure it's correct. I've seen a lot of people with really tiny, tiny 150 by 150s when, they're, when their banner space is actually 250 big. You know, I've seen people try to put really big, long ones in places where it doesn't fit. Just keep that in mind. You can select the size and make sure it fits. I mean, some of these would be really great for even inside the, the post um, banners. So... You know, they have real small ones that can go inside a post, like in native advertising. Um, if you wanted to just have all your blog, you know, really like 250 by 150, you know, skinny advertisements so you could stack them, you could do that. But make sure you select the right size, make sure you track it, and make sure you replace 
that link before the question mark with the system campaign, profit campaign, or product campaign it goes to. I love you all very much. Ten minutes. That's a long ten-minute hack. Bye.